With this problem, we're asked to use the graph of y equals 3x minus 1 and determine if for each of the ordered pairs given is the ordered pair a solution to the equation and is the point on the line. Now what may not be clear is that if the ordered pair is a solution to the equation, the point is on the line. Uh, so essentially with part b, we're mainly just verifying part a, whether or not uh, the solution, the ordered pair is a solution to the equation, also determines is the point on the line. Now if we end up with contradicting information, if we get a, a solution that isn't on the line, then we did something wrong. So with part a, or with point a, we're given 0, negative 1. So a 0, negative 1, uh, a solution to the equation. So we'll use our equation. I'll just underline this here. I'll write part b over to the side. But for this, since we have 0, negative 1, we want to know negative 1 does that equal 3 times 0 minus 1. So negative 1 equals 0 minus 1. 3 times 0 is 0, and minus 1 is negative 1. So yes, so for part A with point A, yes, 0, negative 1 is a solution. With part B, is the point on the line? We already know the answer to that. Yes, 0, negative 1 is on the line. The reason we know that is because it's a solution. If it wasn't a solution, it wouldn't be on the line. So we come over here just to verify, and we plot the point 0, negative 1. So we're not going left or right either direction. And then with negative 1, we go down 1. And this verifies that the point is on the line. Now with point B, we have 2, 5. So to determine part A, is the ordered pair a solution to the equation, we simply substitute 2 for x and 5 for y. So 5 does that equal 3 times 2 minus 1. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 1 is 5. So it is a solution. So yes, 2, 5 is a solution. So we already know the answer to part B. Yes. And, and these little marks where I'm doing this, that just means it's the same thing as what's above it. So yes, 2, 5 is on the line. To verify this, we go from the origin, from 0, 0, 2 units to the right, and 5 units up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we verify that that point is indeed on the line. So now we're looking at graphing linear equations by plotting points. Uh, this is the same as when, in a previous lesson, we looked at, given an x value, determine the y value. Uh, the difference is, is that we're going to be using those uh, determined points to plot on our rectangular coordinate system in order to find the graph for the line. So in this case, we're given the linear equation y equals 2x minus 3. 
Uh, I went ahead and took the liberty of making a table for our x and y values and our resulting points, and I created a graph uh, of the rectangular coordinate system. I went ahead and marked these as one, each tick mark being one unit. Uh, but in general, if there is no scale given, uh, unless it's, you're told that it's an arbitrary scale just to determine the nature of some type of graph, you can always assume that the scale is one square is one unit. So we'll go ahead and substitute points for x in here. So let's start with, let's say, x equals negative 3. When x equals negative 3, we have y. And since this is already solved for y, this makes it a little bit easier as far as uh, determining the, the y value. We don't have to do any uh, algebraic manipulation, moving things to, to different sides. And in fact, if you want to solve for y, that always makes it easier to graph the linear equation. So y equals... 2 times negative 3 minus 3, which equals negative 6, minus 3, which equals negative 9. So when x equals negative 3, y equals negative 9, which gives us the point negative 3, negative 9. So we'll go ahead and plot that point on our graph. 3 units to the left and 9 units down, so 1, 2, 3 units over to the left, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 units down. So that's our first point. Uh, we'll go ahead and use, let's say, x equals 0. When we substitute x equals 0, we get y equals 2 times 0 minus 3, which equals 0 minus 3, which equals negative 3. So our x value is 0. Our y value ends up being negative 3, which gives us the point 0, negative 3. So we start at the origin. We don't go to the left or right because the x value is 0. And we go 3 units down, 1, 2, 3. And then we'll go ahead and use x equals 3. We always want to use 3 points because even though 2 points determine a line, uh, 3 points will tell us whether or not we made a mistake with our first 2 points. So we substitute x equals 3, y equals 2 times 3 minus 3, which equals 6 minus 3, which equals 3. So when x is 3 y is also 3, which gives us the point 3, 3. So we go 3 units to the right, 1, 2, 3, and 3 units up, 1, 2, 3. And it does look like these are all on the same line, which is, which is a good thing. Uh, that way it it kind of indicates that we didn't make a mistake with the first two points that we found because they all line up and then to graph the actual line we simply draw a line through the three points and that is the graph for y equals 2x minus 3